All right, guys, this is the first video on the universal control panel or what we'll be calling the UCP. Um, if we get to the desktop of the laptops that control the laser cutters, this is what we're generally going to see. If we look over here, we see the UCP program. Go ahead and open that up. And this is our default homepage for the UCP. Now, there's nothing here because there's no files open. So that's the first thing we have to do is put in your thumb drive that, is, that contains your Adobe Illustrator file. Click this folder and it takes you to another screen here. We're gonna click the import button. We're gonna find our thumb drive and we should be able to easily see our project in here. But if this thumb drive is full of projects and it's even more important that you name it something that you can easily see as yours and not somebody else's. So we're going to open that print job up and then this screen pops up this pdf import screen now yours may or may not have this information already uh, defaulted so it's actually really important that we that you follow along closely so that you know what to do when you open your file first thing we're going to do is i like to start with both of these boxes checked sometimes the second one is not checked so you manually have to do that um, the next thing is to go into this edit box and we have to select the proper material. So under this materials database, we have a whole bunch of different materials here. Now these materials come with settings already figured out by the manufacturer, but you have to cl uh, click the right material. And in this case, our first project is gonna be using um, what's a cardboard, which is paper, which is a natural product. So under natural, we see a bunch of different options here and cardboard is a form of paper so click paper now we don't specifically see cardboard here so what we have to do is choose what we consider to be the closest option i'm going to consider construction paper as the closest option next thing we have to do is measure the thickness of the material that we're using this is how the laser engraver knows how much power it needs based on how much material it needs to cut or engrave so using the dial calipers, I measured the cardboard I'm going to use for my project, and it is 0.1 inches. Oh, shouldn't have hit enter, but I can go right back in. So all the uh, information I put in stayed. The other important thing is to make sure that in this drop-down box, the platform is PLS 6.75 for the blue laser, and the other laser would be the VLS 3.5. So make sure that's clicked and everything looks good here. Don't mess with this at this point. The intensity adjustment is based on trial and errors. So for the default, always just leave it at zero. Go ahead and click OK here. It's going to load up. Click OK again. And now we can select that print. And now we're back into the home screen. Go ahead and watch the next video for further information.